Interesting letter, Watson. A very interesting letter. Perhaps you'd like to come with me. Where? Catch a murderer, of course. Of course. Test your own powers of observation. We are entering the perfect situation. No, what are we entering? A house that holds a murdered man. So you're completely stuck in this What do you mean? Well, you thought I'd be interested. Why don't you admit? You're in a jam. What you say isn't exactly true, Holmes. If there isn't a mystery, you have to make one, and you're not happy. You're right, I'm not happy. There are marks on the carpet indicating a struggle. The man whose body was carried out of here was over six feet in height. If he had struggled for the girl who had left here, I don't think he'd have lost. She survived. Oh, but he was expecting her. That's her story. I I'd say she sneaked up on her. Well, it's stabbed him in the chest. How do you sneak up on someone and stab him in the chest with a straight? Look here, Holmes. You're trying to start something and I just won't stand for it. That girl's a jailbird. And she's guilty. And she's going to hang. And that's the end of the case. How do you know he's out? That spy watching the house goes to that camera. What am I looking for? Papers, bank statements, anything to indicate passage of money from Gilly Cutting from the car. Go on. Nothing on my side. Keep looking. Why did Peter Cunningham try to hide the fact of his marriage? A week or a month would have made a difference as far as his mother was concerned. She would never have consented to his new bride anyway. The money he paid you went to buying up your promissory notes. I was being pressed, Mr. Johnson. My brother's engagement to a jailbird gave me a perfect opportunity to extract a little money. A jailbird, as you put it, makes the perfect murder suspect. Perfect, Mr. Holmes. What's going on here? Who, who fired that shot? He was sent from the good inspector. With the aid of our evidence, a bit of logic, and a few simple diagrams, we will endeavor to convince him that night follows day, that one and one inevitably makes two. Now, where did I put my violin case? Huh? Oh, it's over here. Ah, my old friend. 